everyone, I am Samia Deria from Kampala, Uganda. Welcome back. If you are viewing my channel for the first time, please do consider subscribing. So today we will be making a vertical scrolling project in Scratch. This can be used in many games, for example, Car Racer. So make sure to watch till the end. Let's go. Alright, so to start off first, we're going to delete this original sprite and we'll paint a sprite which will be our background. This is the most important part of the game. If this is done properly, then our scrolling should be pretty smooth. For example, it's not done properly as you can see on your screen right now. The scrolling is not so good. So now let's see how to do it properly. So first we'll go to this rectangle tool and make sure it has no outline. For the fill, we're going to choose the color green. Alright, so this looks good. I'm just going to draw a rectangle. Make sure the rectangle stretches above your canvas. This looks good. Next, what we're going to do is using the rectangle tool once again, we are going to draw another rectangle with the color gray. This will be our road. All right, and we'll center align this. Once it's at the center, what we want to do is we want to match the edges. So right here, once I zoom in, you could see there is a difference. So we're just going to stretch this gray one a little so they match like that. The same here. Just a little up. Okay, so that looks good. Now using the line tool, for the outline I'm going to choose red. And um, for the size we're going to choose 12. We'll draw a line, a straight line. Let's, we'll draw a straight line running vertically across our canvas. All right, next we're going to center this line. Okay, now we'll paint another costume. This is going to be our reference line. The reason we're painting another costume is so that we can see the pixels. And here I'm going to draw a line, color orange. This is something different that we've not used in the previous costume. So the line should be about 14 pixels. Okay, so that looks good. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this line and we'll paste it in the first costume. Next, we're going to duplicate this line. To do that, just hold down the Alt key and drag. Great. So this orange line, what we're going to do is we're going to place it on top. Only half of it is showing. Okay. And for this orange line, we're going to set the color to white. Use the first orange line as a guideline and place it right below that. Okay, so that looks good. Next, I'm going to duplicate this white line once more and place this one on the center. We're going to drag this orange line down so that half of it is showing once again. Duplicate this white line. Okay, and use this orange line as a guideline once again. All right, so that looks good. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to delete this orange line and the red line. And now we want to group these three white lines. To do that, we're going to select one, hold down the shift key, select the other, and the third one. We'll use this option group. Great, and now we'll duplicate this one. We'll place this one, think about here. We'll duplicate it once more, place it on the other side of this canvas. Alright, so we're done. Now you can see the spaces in between here are pretty uneven, but we'll get to that problem later. Now I'm going to paint another sprite, which will be our car. A pretty simple one, so I'm going to fast forward this part.
Alright, so now that we got our car, we'll use this as a guideline for the spaces in between the lines. So now we'll go back to our first sprite, and here I'm going to adjust the space. So, okay, so that looks good. Now we'll add, we'll bring the car here. Okay. Now to adjust this, I'm going to bring this a bit up. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, so here you can see this side looks a bit big. So for that, to adjust both sides together, we're going to hold down the Alt key. Just make it a bit smaller. A little more could do. Okay, so that looks better. Now when I drag this and keep it here, you can see the spaces are quite even. Now let's jump into the code. Okay, so the code is pretty simple. We'll start with the when green flag clicked. And when that happens, we want it to go to the center of the screen, which is X and Y zero. Then from control, I'm going to grab a forever loop and we want to change Y by negative 10, which is basically move it down. And then we're going to get an if then condition. And here we want to check if the Y is less than a certain number. So if y is less than negative 360, which is the bottom of the screen, we want it to go to the top of the screen, which is x0 and y360. Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to right click and duplicate the sprite. And the changes in code here is that we want it to be at the top of the screen. So which is Y360 initially. And well, that's it. Now let's test this scrolling. Okay, that's great. Now let's see how we can match the scrolling speed with the car speed. All right, so for the car, we'll start with it when green flag clicks. And here we'll make a variable, a global variable, and we'll name it speed. Okay, so initially we want to set speed to zero and we'll make it go to about here. So we'll make it go to the position it is at right now. Okay, and then from control, I'm going to get a forever loop and an if then else condition. So we want to see if the key up arrow is pressed, that is basically accelerating the speed. So we're going to change speed by 0 0.1. Else we want to decrease the speed, which is change speed by negative 0.1. So let's test this out. Oh, here we have a problem here. You can see that our speed is constantly decreasing. That is because we're not pressing the up arrow key. So let's put some kind of borders for the speed. For that, I'm going to get another one green flag clicked. Here I'm going to get a forever loop and an if then condition. So from operators, I'm going to get this greater than operator. Here we want to check if speed is greater than 20. Then we'll set speed to 20. And another if then condition. Here we want to check if speed is less than zero. Less than zero. Then we're going to set speed to zero. Okay, so let's test that out. Great, and now when I press the up arrow key, you can see a speed is increasing. When I let go, it's decreasing. Great, now let's match the scrolling speed with the car speed. Okay, so we'll go to the first sprite here. And instead of changing y by negative 10, we'll change it by 0 minus speed. We'll do the same for the other background sprite. So zero minus speed. 
Okay, and now this looks pretty plain, so let's draw some things on the sides. Okay, so now let's test this out. Alright, so this looks great. This was the basic scrolling vertically, and in this we've used speed to make it look more realistic. This project will be used in my next tutorial of a Roadrunner game, so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on the tutorial. Also, if you have any suggestions, ideas for future videos, or something that I could have done better in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching till the end, I hope you liked it, if you did, please hit the like button, make sure you check out my other content, and also follow me on my insta at Samiha Bye bye!